the women's ra- uh, women's and human rights activist, an imp- entrepreneur, uh, a filmmaker, a poet, and an Afro jazz musician. She is a founder and CEO of a, of an organization uh, called. Um, Take a Life International Trust, uh, Tally, uh, an organization that advocates for young women's rights and promotes empowerment in women. Uh, we thought uh, since uh, we are commemorating 16 days of activi- activism against uh, gender-based violence, why not bring a human rights activist, Nyarazo Nyari Mashayamobe, to help us um, unpack issues that women and young uh, girls face in their day-to-day lives and it is 16 minutes past the seven hi nyari welcome to the program hi ola good to see you good to see you too <laughs> hi zimbabwe yeah <laughs> and uh, nyari um there's a lot that we are going to unpack tonight, right. uh, but let's start from uh, the beginning. Uh, um, you grew up in uh, Shurugwi, mm-hmm. and uh, you are the last born out of eight children in your family. Is that correct? That's correct, Ola. I'm surprised you actually cared about all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do care. And right. uh, what was uh, you know life li- uh, like? Uh, what was uh, life like? You know, uh, back then, uh, and being the last born in a family of eight. Um, so you actually just invited me to talk about my mom who is not uh, currently feeling well uh, and I pray that she gets better. Um, she actually is my hero because um, as you rightfully say we grew up the eight of us. My dad died when my mom was 36 years old and she had eight kids to look after and um, so you can imagine my dad was the, the breadwinner, dies, leaves many kids in boarding school and then some of us are not exactly yet born and then so i never saw my dad um so the life was not very easy but i would want to celebrate my mother because uh because of her she made sure that we all went to school and school was very a priority in my family so and hence my work today especially advocating for education because I know what education can do in a fa- in the life of a child, especially mm. a vulnerable. Because I grew up apart, uh, often uh, together with my siblings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yes. And uh, how did you end up in the capital city? Ah, so <laughs> uh, great question. I think everybody had to come to Arare mm-hmm. to have made it in life. Yeah. Um. So m- I think relatives came to the city, and then my siblings came to the city after um, uh, school and some finished school in the city and then obviously i would also follow my siblings mm. after school oh so, n- nice so the dream was always to come to Arare <laughs> 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 and then to conquer Arare. so i always tell folks that well if i came if i conquered mm, you mm, then mm. i'm in Arare. and uh, you've I'm managed I, i'm sure you managed uh, to conquer Arare. Um, you've conquered well, thank God. Mm-hmm. I guess I, yeah. I guess we're trying to conquer, uh, and I'm grateful for that. A nice one. And yeah. uh, you are an entrepreneur, and uh, who not only specialises uh, in media but advocates for young women and girls uh, growing up. Were you always like that person, you know, uh, who had uh, this passion for of advocating for women's rights? I think I was always um, passionate for justice, mm-hmm. and I actually was sharing with some friends most recently that I always had some some um, some some theories that that i don't know where they came from Mm -hmm. um i I, i'll give an example now that we're talking about 16 days of activism i think i'm just i'm just getting deeper already Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah yeah it's okay but i remember as a little girl looking seeing what was happening in my community where when a woman is married or they are paid for a bride price yes and then they have to be abused or they have to lose you know, their their uh, humanity, or you know, their 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 you know their their free will, and I thought like, um, if it ever happened that I'm when it happens that I get married, I always fancied this idea that I would have my family, um, you know, pay the lobola. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I would have my my family receive the lobola, and then when they've received it, I would secretly go back with my husband and I'll say, for example, I I, I always had three thousand in my mind. Mm-hmm. In my little mind i'm talking about this is three thousand girl i don't know i think ma- majority of my sisters got married and 
I think I used to know how much was, was yeah. paid for mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. So I always said, okay, so I'll go back to my guy and I'll say, okay, dude, so you paid my people 3,000. Mm. Here's your 3,000. Now I'm going to get a So I always fancy <laughs> this idea. I go back to mm-hmm. that example, funny as it may or radical as it may uh, might sound mm-hmm. um, because I, I think I was always aware of uh, societal injustice against yeah, women, yeah, especially yeah. married women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nyari, uh, right now, we are also live on Facebook page. Uh, my Facebook page is all DJ Ola Seven Star FM and the Star FM Facebook page. We are streaming live right now. Uh, I'm talking to uh, Nyarazo Nyari Mashaya Mombe, Ubashurugwa, but you are more and uh, you know, tell us how the idea of starting your own organization, you know, that stands for uh, women's rights come by. Um, so when I was um, I, I grew up Kumusha majority of uh, for, for for the greater part of my uh, formative years mm-hmm. um, with a, a stint at Kwekwe High School when I was in Form One, um, and then just like being at home uh, in in my rural schools, I would see sometimes, especially in high school, uh, instead of girls focusing on their education, yeah. I would see that the moment a girl has someone approaching them, you know for love yeah. in school, mm-hmm. they would stop focusing on their education. They would dream about this guy. They would, you know, and yet guys, I realized very early in life that guys would do girls for for, for past time mm-hmm. when they've studied, when they're tired of, of, of studying mm-hmm. and now they need just to refresh and have fun. Yeah. Then they go for girls. And yet girls would take that, such a proposal very serious you know and then defocus on their education mm. and i wished in that in those moments that there was a program that would help girls to focus mm. to know mm. that you know whatever you're doing is pop is puppy love it does not matter five years from now yeah. it's not gonna matter maybe it was my hardship in my home mm-hmm. where i couldn't wait yeah. to make yeah. it in life to make something out of my life mm-hmm. um so for me i i i think that um that was part of what I saw in my school to say we need programs that would help girls Mm -hmm. and then I fast track I was working uh, for for uh, for a parastatal and then I was working with engineers Mm -hmm. and these guys were and then they they were very rude if I can put it that way they were they would show off Mm -hmm. about education and so I feel like they propelled me to want to go for education Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. one of my bosses actually asked me what my dream was for the first time, I think that meant Mr. Skosana. Yeah. I was working for Royal Electrification Agency then. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I remember I, I started my degree in marketing. Yeah. And I was also doing my human resources diploma. Mm. And he says, Nyari, you're always reading, but wha- what's your passion? Um, and then I told him that, um, and then I, I said, girls and women w- was my passion. Mm. That was early, as early as 2002, 2003. And in that moment, he told me about Betty Mack and I did not know who mm. she was. Mm. And then mm. first trick moments later, there was a lot of, um, you know, linking up with, with the women's movement. And then my passion. But when I answered my boss, I told him that I would like one day to inspire girls and women in my community to tell mm-hmm. them that they could do anything yeah. they set their heart to. So it was just, yeah, in that moment that my, my passion was unlocked. And then um, God set up everything mm. to come together. And uh, maybe within three or four years, I was in this civil society. And yeah. yeah. Okay. As an advocate, uh, uh, Nyari, uh, for women's rights, uh, mm-hmm. I see you are very, I mean, vocal and stand for what you believe in when it comes to everything uh, women. <laughs> As we commemorate 16 days against the gender-based violence, we want to look at uh, issues that are affecting uh, young girls and women. Of late, uh, there has been a rise of cases uh, in the girl child uh, being sexually abused. Uh, there is uh, one of a nine-year-old from yeah. Cholocho, another one from Bindu, and another one from uh, Chitunguiza, uh, whose rights are being violated. Right. What is your take on these issues, Nyari? I think for me, I think one of the things that I wrote was it's a reflection of who we are as a society, mm-hmm. um, how we have failed um, our society. And one of the greatest speakers of our time said that you can know the, suc- uh, the you can know the prosperity or success of a country with the way they treat their women mm-hmm. and children. Mm-hmm. And just the fact that we're eight year olds, nine year olds. And I think one of the saddest things for me is when we actually have debates on Facebook, on social media mm. that seek to actually ignore the fact that it's abnormal that eight or nine year olds are being sexually abused. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. And also even it reflects on a society, um, even the quality of parents that we've become. How does a father uh, or a mother not see a nine-year-old's belly popping? Mm. There are always many signs uh, that tells a person that an eight-year-old is no longer what they should be. Mm. So for me, I think those are things that that really are very painful mm -hmm. that I, I've learned to kind of uh, mute So you think maybe the, the parents were ignorant? Um, I think they should. There's many things that the parents should tell us. Mm. I think I, I don't want to speculate, but I think there's a big story that should be said mm -hmm. um, on the front of social social accountability as well as legal accountability mm -hmm. and i i hope that over and above just coming to realize for example the other nine-year-old cholocho uh knowing that uh, she was impregnated by um by the cousin brother over and above that we want to know the surface where was mm. the pa father the mother those close to her how did they not see a child changing from maybe even two months pregnant mm -hmm. three months pregnant there's a lot and we yeah. i think as a people we must hold them accountable we can't we can't be okay with that mm -hmm. and so over and above the law doing its work as citizens we must know why this but was what is dictated. it that you you are doing or what do you think should be done you know to to prevent such issues for me i think first of all we must have um a legal system that protects women and children mm -hmm. Um, and I think also, again, I wrote about it earlier on that I think uh, people continue doing what they do because there is a lot of impunity. Mm -hmm. um, you know, those people who commit uh, these crimes, they are not held accountable. Um, we have, uh, you know, perpetrators roaming the streets. Yeah, and it's not encouraging to other victims yeah. and then also you have a case that happens in our country and people mm -hmm. begin to ask to say oh yeah, um yeah. how do you tell mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. someone when they were raped you're just saying something mm -hmm. out of context so for me i think it's 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 a number of things we have a legal system that must be strong uh, that must be met for women we always say to the civil society or women's movement that the justice system in zimbabwe was never meant for women and children uh for the most part it it is like when you report a case of abuse, mm -hmm. you are the one the uh, the the burden of proving is actually resting upon a woman yeah. or a girl to show that you were raped. When it's supposed to be the other way around, mm -hmm. when it's supposed to be the rapist proving that they actually did not rape the child. Mm. How it's, do you, uh, how do they prove that? Oh, so internationally, it, it just comes to the way a, a case is held in mm -hmm. court. Uh, so for example, um, this now I'm speaking uh, legal jargon. Yeah. So for example, um, uh, the prosecution actually has to prove that um, a crime was committed. Mm. Um, um, and and uh, actually, if, if I come forward and I say I was raped, mm -hmm. I need to prove in court that mm. indeed I was raped. So the yeah. questions that are asked are actually some are crazy to say what were you wearing how mm. was it like mm. um and the justice system sensitivity even in the people that are engaging with the law mm. actually have to be trained have to have a theory that actually says the burden of proof rests not on the victim but mm. on the perpetrator so when it rests on the perpetrator it is the language is then about the perpetrator proving okay fine no problem but i know how to say so I'm saying about. the questions, manje, the, the way the court handles the case mm. is in such a way that mm. So, for example, the measures that are then put are stringent. Mm. So, for example, you can say bail is denied until you have proven that you actually did not rape. Mm. Right now in Zimbabwe, I, uh, you rape me or last, sorry, God forbid, it's never going to happen. <laughs> uh, if someone is raped, for example, yeah. and then... Um, in so so when somebody is has to prove that they are they're actually not guilty mm. they have to be taken in they have actually then to prove that they did not commit the crime mm. whereas it's it's like okay uh, prove that you actually uh, prove that you actually but were it's, it's difficult to prove good and uh, all right than the victim so no 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 point other and so that's what i can go to moon i got rape and it's like a car ripper watch or they are going to accuse what they allegedly you are going to repay the perpetrator a proof without a good paramosa 
Ndoba ndu anoprova how? Saka anoprova to ndandanda tanga tanga ku layer out mm-hmm. what it could look like all. Yeah. To say munano to torwa wonzi shamara wakapara mosha what and then it's treated the seriousness mm-hmm. for example ya yeah, ino piwa auto torwa to pinda muscles mm. and it ka atobvumitswe kuenda kumba to kuno to mudina ya bail munhu. Otonzi until you have proven and ka case yake yo tenda court. Saka the burden of proof kuma lawyers kwedu kwa tininge ta pinda court pay pay. The lawyer now we munhu uyu ndiye ari kufana hapo. So in the state actually then can say okay we agree that this this crime was committed mm. then you the perpetrator has have has have to prove mm. that actually and in paramoshai saka the burden becomes yours lawyer rako ndo ri nenge ra ne ne what ngati msenzekete or the burden to prove but imagine moshai na kupariwa nye mutara ya mone ri kuti inona ro konzera futi kuti uh, and Rukwanda sent a order. Yes. But as as you consider, you could see Van Madzmai was to advantage. You could put a chimangara, a room, a goody, and a garip, then a room for a chipping for myself for no reason. Then also, no bang, I see, I see guilt. What then uh, would happen? What, what, what is the, um, the, the, I think the, so at this stage, mm. the women's, the, the women who are enduring that mm. actually have to prove no mm-hmm. particular the burden of proof and yes, yes. So at the end of the day my perpetrators mm. are roaming the streets mm. all just because we we give them the room to say ching anga fere muna ka tombota atorwa for the three mutemo edu mazwano makupurisa ari kurespect ari kurespect na mutemo shikanzi 24 or 48 hours mosha nga ende ku court and it ga ir unenda ku court munhu ono prove kuti andina kurepa and then it's it's a matter of a few whatever few weeks compared to majority of women 33% of our of, of our population that is being raped but then 33% of our population vari kurepwa 33% of our population tine vanhu vanga ni Zimbabwe ola tine 16 million and it sense say yakabva kunoita what is 33% that's about what Four to five million women who are being raped. But look at us. Now, basta ne kuti chukuda ku protect our shoma. Varume ava varku varume vachi vano rape. Saka itu su chukwa chukuti vakazi atuku believe e kushika iwe we iwe we ndi wa rape and ono fa na kusoko vamani. Mutemo mutemo utere. You are innocent until you are proven guilty. That th- that kind of of theory ola eh. is true. And right. it's very prevalent okay. across the world. Right. But it should also be applied in a balancing manner. Yes, tika kwisa tika kuti wewe uri alleged kuti wa rape pinda mstokis. Atisati takutemera atisati takutemera mutongo. Mutongo iwewe you are still innocent until proven guilty. Wombo enda ma cells. Ndo saka kune bail. Ndo saka kune bail. But pane imwe mtemo ola muna kafutika tika good. Right now mu Zimbabwe uri kuzivairewe ola kuti nasi ukaba mombe wewe. Nasu kaba mombe ola mm. atis kuzombo vuma iso shekuti proven guilt and do whatever right. chuko vata kuisa mujere mm. chuko kutemira 25 years mm. mombe zaka kwasha mzimbabwe kudarika mazimai saka when we are saying someone is not guilt until proven guilty we are saying yes you still have got a right to trial it's part of that innocence but okay. you must prove that we'll you are we talk about that uh, uh, nyari yeah. i believe your children look up to uh, their parents you know uh, they view their parents as, uh, or guidance uh, my guardians how is uh, the pr- as their protectors on our chengete but in the scenario whereby that parent uh, who is supposed to protect you sexually abuses you how does one one, you know, deal with it. Uh, an example is that of uh, that Macheke couple uh, that was arrested for having sexual intercourse uh, with their two uh, minor children. That is horrible, no? And uh, in such cases, nyari, it's not fun because it's like that. Ndipo wa pandru kuzoka ola panancha tora pepe. Kutide tiri serious neku, neku arrest ama pepe traitors. Mm. Chichungo nzuwa kuti muna apara mosha abba pinda mjere ola. Shino send a strong message kutiva muivano. Vasa zo pepe traitor. Mm. These, these circumstances that you are talking about are very painful. Saka vabere kiva kangevanzi nduwa vakare paka na wachiva abuse amana. Vanufana kuto vababuda mu society. Mm. The same way we are talking about other perpetrators. Muna ka perpetrator nga abude mu society. Mm-hmm. Asara mbachi zoende rakune mamwe banani mamwe madzimai. And it, yeah. Also a few women are said to be raping, uh, to be molesting vana. Mm. Whoever has been has been accused of, 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 um, of, of, of such rape or sexual abuse mm. must be separated from society. 
society enda mutemo nga uwi dilenewe hmm. somewhere else watu kanganisika watu shata but itaita vanhu vakawanda some community that's why vanhu vakuenda zvarampant mm-hmm. vaberiki vakuita sexually abuse their own children but also um, fathers and uncles it's it's not new mm. it's something that's been happening for a very long time and then tichi tichi vara hapwa tichita hazvitaurwe pa ukama pa ukama tinozodi tigozodi zvinhu zvagara zviri kuitika and my hope is that as zimbabwe we can go beyond that mm. okay um we preach about protecting the girl child but it looks like uh, the more we talk about uh, about it uh, the, the more girl child is being violated why is that um, it's it's very difficult to pass such a statement um, in the sense that um, we also are grappling with that uh, to say is it really about there are more cases or it's about people are opening up more mm. as we have just said in the previous conversation yes. to say there's been a lot we're coming from a, a culture where we wouldn't talk about these things where we wouldn't report the father as the breadwinner or whatnot but also there's been a lot uh, of, of, of sensitization in our communities mm. Mm. people understanding women and men understanding that this is not right mm. the, the law must take precedence so it's difficult at this stage to say my cases are wonder here people are now reporting more freely mm. because i want to believe this heinous crime has been happening as far back as in the bible mm. so i do it's difficult to say there are more but it's 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 more likely that people are taking the liberty mm. because of education because of justice mm. to actually come up and say enough of this we're going to speak out and also add that to social media mm. so i would want to say there's more reporting than more cases because i think there's more people speaking mm. out out mm. of education than there is high prevalence exactly and uh, I've seen comments on social media of people saying uh, feminists are all about uh, advocating for women's rights, uh, praising and protecting the girl child and turning a blind eye uh, to the boy child. What's your comment on that, Nyari? Um, I knew that was coming and I I think that's a very irresponsible statement to make by anyone. Um, It's it's quite sensationalistic. It's not baked by facts. Uh, by that I mean uh, we just want to go back to statistics. Ma Zimbabweans are not Tika Tikadzo kirakma statistics squared you will find kuti out of ten women, uh tatoto resource maybe kuti six batori affected vakato batkana ne violence or chichi. Uh but then to kind of varume out of ten maybe one or two but so you find then that there is always that gravitation towards good let's bring the woman to where the men are I want to talk to you about economic empowerment um the world the okay, women before say, you even got there yeah when you say it case of a cuts up six or so but but can already then to tell about me three or four no 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 30 10 uh-huh. the chance are the same measure okay 10 men mm-hmm. you find one or two but what can six, yes right six men uh, six women mm-hmm. you find between four and six right but is it uh true uh master six are good by because may probably in your good tea room of us would speak out more Chim, than zinoita ma, zinoita ma, 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 right. i think of late hold on hold on mm-hmm. i think of late uh kana wakambo realize wakambo chereke zama zwana ya kutima suicide uh suicide ma, ma rates are kukwira and are wanyo kuzula ya wajo warumi why is that so the number of phones are all like kuchumbo and the types of no no no, no. i'm asking uh-uh, no, you no 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 i uh- want you to help me answer this uh-huh. because i'm a woman who probably has who's a broken record so uh. to speak i want to trust them no 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 no, no, no. wait i am not going to respond have, to your question no, i am asking be you open-minded uh-huh. Ola, about this it's not always about all asking but we can shape the nation by actually having men engaged in these conversations i just want to ask you what are some of the uh, the, the abuses that men go through so no you are the Nyari, one. listen <laughs> listen Nyari, you are you are okay let me just remind you this you are the interviewee I am interviewing you. So what I'm are asking we doing you, here, Ola? Why, why are we talking? Uh, I'm interviewing you. No, no, no. Why are we having this interview? Because I want to know. I'm asking you. That's why, why I, I came. Why I participate, Ola, uh-huh. is because I want us to shape society. Uh-huh. So I'm wanting us to have a conversation where I'm saying 
so that we don't have conversations that are sensational, mm-hmm. so that we have conversations that are constructive to our nation. Mm-hmm. That's why I want you as an educated man mm-hmm. who is hosting this to have a conversation with me to say, Ndipo, can I two, can I three, show? my examples, Emma, uga daro, uga daro, uga. ever roommate. Okay, can I see now, let's move on, because I'm not going to move on, because I'm not going to move on, because I'm not what are you going to six? And it is a dogma to not be better for two and some funds away to end in bed. I want a two diamond funds and two of them with funds. I want all that with a conversation pan. That got you with it. I think you're all getting it wrong. But anyway, no. uh, there are actually men who are being physically emotionally and sexually abused you know by women uh, but you hardly i mean you hardly hear feminists physically, talking about thank you ola wait, wait, hold on, let, let me finish mm-hmm. um i mean you hardly hear my feminists you know talking about it but if it's a woman who are suffering uh women are suffering that kind of abuse uh nyari but why is that so why protect the prep the paper so I, I well? just want to come back to what you've said physically emotionally mm-hmm. and uh, sexually sexually yes um I, I without you being agitated because i don't want you to tend to be agitated mm-hmm. in this conversation without you being agitated i would have asked you the the statistics of men who are sexually abused we go back to the number where it's perhaps point zero point zero percent and they are there but they are few and then emotionally of course we could have that conversation because it's also coming up to say a lot of men do not speak out a lot of men um because avataure uh emotionally mm-hmm. maybe it's a conversation or definitely that we should have mm. um but also panel on the gaslighting or do you know what gaslighting is tell me let me talk about gaslighting men gaslight so gaslighting is a is is a is a place where uno tanganya ya mumba ola uno 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 create a situation ye pain mumba. Mm-hmm. Then mumba wake iwo uno create a situation ya koka onyara rautizi. So for example, uno ende uno chita ola onyara shakoti zete mumba. Society lines up with you, it sides with you as a man kuti mukazi we chingo teri la chingo nzuki sasa kuchita kuno chito. But it's painful. And did it. Then you can't walk away. Oh, Garachi Popota. Nekutaku was the one in Shokaita. Varume Bangan Ola, Varpunza Vana Muzimba, Vakata Chure Kunzo. But Vakat Vangan Varpunza, Mumba Vakata Jure, Basho Mandiga. Okay, so when you say was Shomega to Tons Golf, my ever ever cards of which Varuchen get to Savarume, Manava Sriva, I did not go on, but that Basho Ma Ola. So Varume Kawada, you gaslight, Muno Konze Resa Ola. Moita situation a good Muna Garachi was. Ano so gara chuku popotera ne kuti zvirikurwa dza hana kutokura mba muni ari kuti popotera ndo pamunozo kuti yeti kuinda emotional saka varume vakawanda the gaslight but also i don't want to also deny kuti of course vari ko vakadzi vanoita sei vanoita gaslighting i mean vanongo popotera vari emotional then so but i want to say that by so saying what we are trying to do is to build a peaceful society all i i don't want to sit here and say we promote violence from women mm-hmm. but what we are just saying is women suffer more than men do and that you don't want your economic empowerment but you, can, you, can you allow mm-hmm. me to go pins mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. yeah hold on munu we murume anga protect or say panya it's already munu we mkazi tajinzo munu kutara pace up komunu we murume munu protect or say nae sisi nyari ari kwa ma organization za keta sana padari ini ndo nova kutali take a life nation you ever know astana madimai ima organization zip ari kwa e madimai marume tinana padari Vanu batsira varume ku ku kuvane a positive way of handling anger. Varume wakawanda vanu tambutika ni anger. Mm. Ne toxic masculinity. Mm-hmm. Varume vedu ola vaka varuku vama situations are no words mm. where they are raised to be macho. And macho yacho ndo ya paradza nyikane dzimba dzedu mm-hmm. where men don't know how to resolve conflict mm-hmm. where men don't know how to deal with anger situations mm. and they've been taught and 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 allowed to I, be I, abusive I, I like that i like that that anger that aspect you are on right now now you see who is suffering more no w- they don't know how let to, me say to deal with these, uh, no, no. these so m- issues so let's not make it a competition of who is suffering more uh-huh. let's say society and our families are suffering yes T- without men without children, labeling a man or a, a woman right it's okay for me to say women suffer more ola you know go to statistics ndani chida uta ora pauru kuramba uchindi varira pe 10 percent women's bank raka budisa uh statistics ola in 2017 mm. the good of our national income Women 
in our 52 percent we only enjoy 10 percent vakadzi variku suffer economic um, uh, uh, disempowerment mm. variku kusapa economic uh, 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 um, economic abuse mudzimba mm. and it so zvinhu mm. zvacho ni tofona ngobvuma komana kuti kumabasa vana boss varume i vakadzi vakawandira pasi hakuna mari and a lot of women are suffering abuse because they can't walk out of that abuse and vakadzi vakawanda ndo vano suffer ndo vano rohwa all varume vakawanda vari masculine vakadzi vano rohwa vano nyimwa mari mudzimba vakadzi vari kuura wa all i want to acknowledge varume vari kuzvura and it's also the outcome of socialized to toxic masculinity. To not our nation, come and we pass the mix more. We are. We got all the terror in here. Kuti, muna no jide and eat. Muna kati waramba kuramba. What what it take take ni manu evan. What ora manu evan. So to not go for makuti varume varku varku shungulzo akadzi more than women. Vacho vano zita ambiri and it no shita ora vasko ne kuma basa kwe. Hold on, nyari. Mm. Wa wow, ita raise uh, nyaya ya Asuda uchi mbo Dito wandi mbo Petsu wa point ya No, nukuna Nukuna kusia uchi nda kumbiri mbini Nukuna kutono Rasika conversation Sana nukuna kukontrola The conversation So that isa rasike Isa hende ah, Awa kundi batira mapoiza Right Inzo right. 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 anyari mm -hmm. uh, Wa ita bring up nyaya ya Ya ningigini Ya pangolini Yes uh, Ine ma versions Aga like siyana siyana mm. Like you said Agurambo agurambo Mm. He, that's why I can't do one. Mm. Even my visions are going to Though we don't want to dwell much on but that. But it's a good recordings. Exactly. But no, in Zoga, mm. if you if you if you can over Tira Mushima the the recordings, Panto Nayad Zanja wrote Agabuza Marega one. Spend a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. Are you also considering that? Oh, Murus will consider one side. I don't know. Not the end result. Right. But I'm going to Yes, I like, I like you ask that question, mm. Ola. The point here, Pangolin, if you remember, mm. Pangolin, anoto outliner, kuti muskano ya anti ramba. Mm. Arambwa Pangolin, what does he do? Mm. He goes to Bait Bridge. Mm. Nesik, akanupa mkazi, yoya, I, I think about 8,000 rands. Mkazi akaramba, Maria Pangolin. Pangolin akabaiko kwa kaita say, akaenda kumba kwe mkazi, yoya, kudreva kwa gutu, muna agudu wata ncha kuda. You all, you keep flaunting money. It's forcing yourself on someone. So if you remember, Nyaya Pangolin, he kept, I forgot Maria Kino Mtengira Rudo. He would force himself through the money. You go back to the, those audios. He goes to Warambra. Why are you burning your fuel? Wenda ku Bait Bridge. One of many kids are Munumari. Akatono Sira, I think it was the friend of this woman. Ava ipapo, ainda kwa gutine ma groceries. Iwa mkaza akuramba. Wenda kumba kwa maivewe. Wono siya ma groceries. Wenda kumisha kwa baba ava karambana. Wono siya mari. What are you creating? You are creating kuramba kuramba. Kuti ama ento zoti society edi no vayati. Uru kuramba murumane marunetos. But uko noti this person is not good. This person is abusive. He is creating a scenario where this woman will this woman it will be difficult for her to watch. Okay, hold on, Anyari. I don't think we have enough facts. No, 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 but I am following the facts all up. Okay, right. I remember them. Because in my side, I guess, 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 I could no farm command. To put our shack at our in it, I wasn't there. Yeah, to our audio racket and on a little in the kind of bed bridge. The kind of quagut at your cousins, my reasons. I don't want to go to go back about my reasons. Any eyes at least sure now, both Pango is not here to defend himself. No, but Pango Lin on the ninth of uh, on the ninth of November, uh, Nyari. Mm -hmm. I hosted Madam Boss, uh, and uh, when I asked her about uh, Hey, husband, uh, shenanigans. Uh, she didn't want to talk about it. You wrote something on your timeline concerning uh, the interview. It was a bit long, uh, but I was, um, you know, I will get a, a piece of it. Paneza uh, Waganyora, open court. He said, uh, so much to reflect on Madam Boss issue interview with Ola Seven about uh, her marriage. The most trending statement is, I have no idea, an expression of ignorance of what's happening around her or the cheating husband. Close court. Um, please explain what you meant. Okay, um, I would encourage the, the viewers to go and um, follow that conversation, the entirety of it, uh, on my page, Nyarimash, uh, Nyari, Nyarazu Nyarimash, I'm on Facebook. Um, all I think it just August in the conversations that we're having about uh, women who speak out. Um, I think for me, the main point that I was trying to say was that it could have been an opportunity for Madam Boss uh, if she chose. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe first of all, Ola, I would want to also give you feedback that I think it shouldn't have been Madam Boss dealing with her husband's situations. It should have been the husband because he's the one who's accused of having cheated. Um, and then we have Madam Boss here come 
uh, and talk and say she has no idea and all that. I think from a, a, a women's rights perspective, um, I was just thinking that personally, um, it was a lost opportunity for her uh, to just tell the truth uh, because the thing is in the in the public domain um, to say that. And, and, and let me also say this, that when a woman and a man have issues in their marriage, it's their right to deal with them however they want and if they choose to forgive each other and move on it's okay but i feel like um uh, uh, socialites or uh, public figures have a responsibility to society uh, to live truth to be transparent especially when things have become public um but then embrace what's going on so for example i would have imagined uh, madam was just saying that um uh this uh, we are working at our marriage we've decided she didn't have to give details mm. to just say hey we've decided to work on our marriage and, and it's a day at a time mm -hmm. um and 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 full stop and i think that would have represented a lot of constructive mm. um you know social discourse that, okay that was my conversation great uh many attacked you for writing that statement saying as a woman you were not supposed to do uh, uh to do that uh, to another woman uh was it really about you speaking your mind or it was just personal I, I did not see anyone who said me doing that to another woman. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think they were different because I didn't do anything to another woman. Mm -hmm. um, I am a human rights activist and uh, an advocate for that matter. And I have an opinion. And, and when I share an opinion, and there is no place uh, in that conversation that we are bl uh, blamed uh, Tyra, mm -hmm. I said it was a lost opportunity. And I think as a woman's rights activist myself, um, it's always great to see advocates or to see celebrities and socialites actually standing uh, for fellow uh, women and girls. And I think I said it before, it was a lost opportunity. Um, I, I just want to draw us to who Tyra is. Tara has become a global icon. She recently got a social uh, a, a social uh, award, uh, a social icon award in Hollywood. And Tara is celebrating this award. And I, I just wanted it to, to reflect and say, what does it mean to be a global icon? Mm. Globally, those people in, 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 at, uh, at, at this award, usually such awards are obtained by people who then stand for truth especially also when it comes to women's rights um we have women like emma watson mm -hmm. who have become advocates for human rights for women's rights and it becomes very sad for people like myself when we see such an icon then choose not to address an, an obvious issue and we're like what in a moment tyra to just say look I've got a right to, to forgive my husband. But uh, this is, uh, this I've, was I've not got a, a right for mm. to forgive my husband for any shenanigans. Yeah. This is how we're working at it. And embrace the truth and be the model. But this was not the first time uh, you said something uh, negative about, uh, you know, uh, Madam, Madam Boss. You responded to Madam Boss after she apologized about the uh, Marange girl, you know, who died uh, whilst giving birth. Uh, this is what you had to say. I, uh, I caught. Uh, Madam Boss, I love you. Enroll yourself in a diploma or degree. It will help. And education will improve you on many levels, including how to continue apologizing for same issues. What was that about, uh, Nyari? Can, can I ask you to, um, to repeat what you just said when you opened that quote? The first statement? Uh, yeah, you made you yourself just now. Uh-huh. No, there's a comment that you made that I seek to understand and also address. Okay. I said this was not the first time. I, I mean, did you, what? You, you said something negative about uh, Madam Boss. Madam Boss, like, you know, the perception on social media. I, I think that you are... I, I think I, hmm. I think that you're creating a, situ a situation or a narrative that is not the all. Hmm. And that's not constructive. That's why I'm asking you. No, that's no, why no, I, I, I then I, I, I want you, what to, was that about? I want to, first of all, address your comment that we should not create situations and tensions where they are not. Mm. Um, so if you look at that, I defended Madam Boss mm -hmm. in many spaces mm -hmm. where people were saying, oh, she shouldn't have done this or that. So I am refuting that you should actually paint me as though I have a vendetta with Madam Boss. That's mm. not there. Tyra is my little sister. I'm friends with Fungai. I love Tyra. Anything that I'm going to say about Tyra is constructive. So, so what was that, that about? That comment mm -hmm. was about encouraging Tyra to be careful before she speaks. Mm -hmm. And that's there's nothing negative about that. That's sheer advice from a sister. Mm. Yeah. Um, if he, if she's your friend, why not you know, go to 
uh, Tyler privately, uh, not on social media, because you are also someone, and she's also someone, and you guys, Muriwanuma, like public figures. That's your preference. What What's the difference? There's neither here nor there answer. Then when you say when you post something on social media, then people perceive it differently. It's you know? your responsibility, Ola. That's I, why. I cannot move around actually correcting people. If somebody read that, uh -huh. and I think that post has got a lot of likes, this there are people who see why, the sense in this that. This is why now you're saying uh, people, oh, I am uh, creating a narrative, which is yes. very wrong. Because now... You are I, creating a narrative, you, Ola. You said she is your friend. Yes, and I can say it publicly. Is there anything wrong which with that? Which is not a problem. Which is not a problem So why are you all. trying to make it Saga a problem? True to Uka post something like this, Nyari, on social media. People perceive it uh, differently. And I said it's the responsibility of anyone. Exactly. I could say I love you right so, now. So and you can make minorities. many different narratives. Saga narratives. Saga Saga but I'm not responsible for people. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 imagine, Ola, every time you write something and then people have to, to teach you something. Mm. I, it, you, uh, I mean, imagine that. Okay. Everybody is posting something. Tyra posts something every day. Let's, and uh, and let, is she let, responsible for other people's okay, narratives? Let, let's quickly no. move on, uh, uh, Nyari. Yeah. You made a comment on uh, Tinashe Mugabe's case after he was given uh, the go-ahead uh, to continue doing his shows. This is what you had to say. Tinashe is parading uh, women who have desperately moved on with their lives for lying to the new, uh, to the new husband that they marry, uh, but where, is, um, where his shows, uh, photos is. It only embarrasses women mm -hmm. close cut please explain further on the statement i just read Nyari. good Ola. so <laughs> i knew that tinashe mugabe was gonna come so what we're trying to say about the tinashe mugabe situation is um it is a discrimination against women that show and you know what there are many women and men who defend that show and say why men would not want to look after another man's a child fair enough but how many men Ola? so when we are saying this women are we bring them on the spotlight why do the, because why are they having to be brought on camera to talk about their infidelity are we doing that to men okay let's have a conversation yari I why are we asking women about morals that men don't keep? No, no, no. No, no, those are Nancy Painter. Maybe you did not understand me. Let, 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 me, uh, uh, let me bring you back. Let's have a conversation, Yari. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Then let's have a conversation. Because I want to answer And I want you to, and and I want and to come back to let, the original okay, of the let, 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 let me repeat the question. The question is good. Chinonyads, that don't die. Chinonyads, such in yari. Kuitamwana, kundi chengeti samana, siri wang. Neguzo, budapa TV, kwa kwa yu. Chinonyads, such. Chinonyad sa ola, varu meva karamba numbu izi zichiku ziru paktanga. A karamba numbu ndiyan. Dosha nanyi nao kusana nguri rasa. Kuna wakati zikante na numbu, dono chengitza mga 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 and it knowingly, mm -hmm. Ndipe mkano kuku yes. and it, mm. all I can do that the picture I'm wanting to paint for you is how many men out there vanoi tisavakadzi numbu or ramba. That's where we must start from. And I want to bring this to a controversy as well. Allow me to, sp to speak. Mm. There are people who are against abortion in our nation mm. right now. We focus as Zimbabweans on the fruit of a behavior. But we don't hold men accountable for their behaviors. Can I tell you any abortion? True, but that eh, abash arambamana, abarasiramana. But the biggest aborter in this situation is the man who walked away from this pregnancy. Tujet zoka kunye eti na shemugabi. Vakadzi varukuzono peke rapa no mu murume. Vaninge varambwa ne varume vaya vaketa say walked away from pregnancies. But nobody is bringing this man who went to walk away from pregnancies. Party fifty, party fifty fifty. Is it a justification? No, Nyari, what you're saying here as as to tell you. No, 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 no. So I'm sorry to say it's this. It's not one but it's not one No, I understand. <laughs> I, <laughs> murume. Or I understand. <laughs> Give me a chance to speak, Nyari. Give me a chance to yeah. speak. Give me a chance to speak. <laughs> I understand, Guti. Murume, I know it's one. Or Ramba one. Does he understand? <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> Nyari. Hold on. You must not understand that, Ola. You must begin your rage Nyari, from I'm still there. explaining. I said, Murume, I know going to quit one. Or Ramba one. Number one, which is, you know, it's not 
Right. <laughs> Urukuto wa gudi ni madzimai nyari ariku chengeti sawa na baba wa nawa siri wao not to say boss now tuona tuongoa dawa kwa tatu nashimu gabe for nothing but now tatu nashimu gabe what he is doing arukuto vunza gaku aruku da hizo iba sara ge onzo wakuno what is a camera now vunzo guti chino nyadi sa chi guchengeti sa munu wa nawa siri wake nego zogo sopa camera like now right now you are on camera chino nyadi sa chi guepa camera apa nego taka kuna nine months over what in the zako ola ziri zako ola chino nyadi sa papa tell me. Tell me. I think because why emotional? No. Why are you emotional? No. Why are you too Ndee put ina ndi advocate kuti madzimai anyepere varume vasiri vana baba ndoro kuti mupa batisisa ipapo inini ningoro mudzimai anozongoti koseiko tinache mugabe achiti do you know kuti ola vana vese vatiri kuti havana vana baba vati vari kuzoti mumba muri zoshatira kuti kuchengeterei vana vana vevamwarume kune varume vakavaramba saka indi kuti my appeal kuna tinache mugabe ndee kuti usati wanyadzira mukadzi akanofekera pano mumwe murume uri kudi kunonyadzisa murume akaramba nhumbu first saka ndo pane mtsuru wangu wenyaya then tozosvika kuma inequalities kuti azvisi fair kuti vakadzi vongononyadzisirwa and all okatarira kaitikiro kanoita ma cases aya kuti watiwe murume aninga suspect ono vanot iwe enda uno enda unoita sai unoongorwa kuti mwana wende wangu here but hakuna vakadzi hakuna ari ku hold varume ivari kuramba nhumbu kuti hande ku microphone hande kuchi kuchi kuti vhikwa tinacho saka what we need is when we decide to embarrass women who are who are bringing my fathers vana ku mafathers asiri vao we must embarrass the men who are walking away from the pregnancy is the very first time that is where we my my problem is patru ku discriminate against women do patru kuti is also why are we bringing women to trial and men are roaming the streets vachiramba dzinhumbu nobody holds them accountable ndo pane msoro wangu wenyaya tinashe kana ari kuda kunyatsira vakadzi ngano nyatsira varume zvo number 1 number 2 ola you will find kuti zvo ni vakadzi ava vari kuuya pa camera havana right abudi tsire varume as well but koinga pa pano dzi probability iri kuti 99.7 Baba. 
can can I just finish the, the mm-hmm. next point? What we are doing is we are putting even though teaching it are 99 percent mm. who the women the gender is the, the female gender is the one on trial. Mm. We are not seeing men. So why are we not having a show in Otijoni? Munari at trial mukadzi. Why? That is discrimination against women. But in the in the and so defend that national government, but that is really is really genuine and uh, objective. In the guy follow and don't follow us to the Dini show yeah. Naga on in any one we are room chao, one to one to zo, Baba or Gun Rambi Rumana, I wanna ask but the Baba Hospital Ravachko. Baba was taking on a chaff, what did you want to ask? Tinaje chimbo weo kuno. Tinajo vaenda. Oita DNA. Yo vya bila jiti baba. I would wait to put in my shows where maybe it's one out of the 250 where women are being put on trial. Abati suru kuiti kaka. I want one out of 250. Kwa kwa. It shows that there is no equality. Okay, no problem. I understand. Nagunzu kwa nyari. I saw on uh, on a Facebook post. You posted on 25, uh, 25th of October. Uh, you wrote... Zogara, we need to talk about it. So, teacher Kukoshi is a one. Ya amai over seven. Zababa <laughs> amai deserves the seven and the baba the one. Close cut. Hashtag uh, Patsy Akim Masti for uh, Nyari. I understand uh, you are a feminist, but uh, can I culture each boom the Zagada? So, be square. Are you against the culture? Um, we must all be feminists, all. Don't go address any of the feminist and do not go to my church in a cup of coffee. We the rich and this was really attacking. Um, in the sense, you know, you don't understand what Zimbabwe. I would say I don't associate with the the uh, the way it's painted negatively, but we must all be feminists in the true sense of feminism, in the sense that feminism simply means the the equal treatment between men and women. Sorry, nyare ndakuti kubatsa Ukuti re zodi iskwa. Kana chitora nyaya nyaya mombe o mai ola. I tinama wa feminists wa mai banks wa mai vachi vachi njanja. Vari pa Facebook wa no fara nyaya zozo. Vaka uya vaka tsana ngura pa same thread. A kuti kana chitora isusu nyaya zekuti mombe o uya o mai. Ine van pani ba muano vano inzwi sisa. Kuti mombe ya inzi kana tika paro rwane mombe eight pa yunzwi o mai. Zimwe zese zefano ushe wana baba na mai. Asipane wani ilifu nzinde ya mai yefano kushe. Asi problem ya itika ola panduku so titani chitsozi. You then find kuti wani ilifu nzi. Nde ya mai ayibatwe. Then seven zese zoro wiru wapampini na baba wakutani jama wama girlfriends. Dopa na chitsozi chata kutawa. Kuti vani wani ngongo kushe sa wani. Wati ii ayibatwe zimwe seven zoro shandis kwa. And amai hava chawa nche uviri. Saka culture has been distorted. In the original culture, maybe it was okay. But in the present day, mombe ya ya umai, rukungwa nzi ya umai, ya chine chitsozi, zimwe zeda anga, zikubwa zenda kuna baba, zoba za, robert wa pampi nina baba. That's what I meant. Uh, by speaking your mind, uh, some people perceive you as a bitter person, bitter towards the other gender. Are you bitter, Nyari? Oh, who said that, Ola? I mean... It's there on social media. From the comments, from the comments, you see sometimes people want to get against Ola, you. How many people comment on your things and say a lot? I'm of asking stuff. you, Nyari. This is an so, interview. You are on interview, <laughs> Nyari. I, okay, I'm really yes. this is a conversation, but you know what? I am not responsible for people's opinion. Exactly, that's that just be your an answer. Element. There are lots of things. There are also people who love me. You know, I was on staff and go to that. I was actually laughing. There are men who defend this cause. So, but I would not then go down upon one person who's put maybe a tweet of my sour grapes there are many nice things about m- some men who actually get this who support what we are doing we so are about to uh, end the interview uh nyari ever heard of uh, a man called shadaya no i've not you don't know shadaya not even okay many women uh, despise uh, him you know uh because they say he speaks ill about them you know but uh I want to know what is your take on uh mang ma post anonyo ana shadaya but shadaya ano taro aga mirror over room. I can't comment any. I don't. You don't know shadaya. Maybe they want to talk over my vandals. Ana ba ba arare. They promote women. Ana mm-hmm. excuse 
they sing about women. I love those men. <laughs> they are very progressive men. <laughs> they are many. But I'm they hold women in high esteem. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather I know that women do see. Hey, I know. Shadai, you don't know. Excuse, I know him. That your fairy rand is one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. So those are the people that I know. I I know the men that are very progressive. A uh, few weeks ago, uh, Choose Sports Records were producer uh, levels. You know, allegedly uh, leaked intimate videos and nude pictures of him and his girlfriend. Uh, what is your take on the levels and Shashiro saga? Um, so my theory, Ola, um, is that um, here's a man. So first of all, I wrote on my social media say, I believe Shashiro. When she said she was raped, she was forced uh, the first encounter simply because as a person who works in civil society or with women and girls issues, um, maybe 77 percent of cases of first sexual encounter between lovers is forced. A lot of women don't actually know that they were raped because so maybe out of 100 more than 77 percent vavo vakatoz vaka mani kids wa varume vavo vamo wakato gara ne mari pisa wakato rakno varume vavo vaka vashwa vaka zhi mani kidzira pa vari vavo arepwa achito ti no no murima vavo zhi mani kidzira ava arepwa akacheta nungu waka nzienda kwa ngori akato no roro wa nare pisa wake varume vaka wanda vaka zhi mani kidzira pa vaka kazi kanoti vaska na wanda na nanao and the sad thing is women don't even know kuti when 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 your your boyfriend and rapes or forces themselves on you, it's actually rape. And society does not appreciate the fact that one day, I'm going to cheat John and the rapper. I'm going to treat her as rape, not to cheat her as rape. That is the, the tragedy of our society. Now, when we come to Shashel, I believe when she says that she was raped by, by levels the first time, because um, she is prevalent. She is not one. She is not one. She is not one. She is not one. She it's that it's neither here nor there. First encounter, we are talking about Shabana, but Kuti Akaman kids go on. Then it's not going to sort it. The theory young old that she ended up being nice. Can I walk with sort it? We 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 then I could not see any work on the summer sex steps. She will go without recording my sex steps. She could you want to manipulate that relationship? You are not only an advocate for human rights, but you are also a storyteller. You yes. are set to uh, launch your film, even uh, our dreams. Be uh, briefly, tell us about, uh, about it. Thanks, Ola. I'd almost forgotten about it. Um, so, even our dreams is it's my first film. Um, as you rightfully say, I'm a filmmaker and a storyteller. Um, it's, it documents the story of people with disabilities uh, in Chiredzi. Mm -hmm. uh, ch uh, girls, uh, uh, boys, men, women. Um, and we explore my capacities. Uh, we explore uh, buoyancy, resilience. But we explore uh, things to do with their thriving, uh, love. Uh, issues to do with um, the challenges that they face as well in their dreams. Um, so I'm, I'm excited that it is premiering this Saturday uh, on our social media platform, if you allow me, on Identities Media TV. Um, and yeah, it's it's uh, I'm, I'm so excited about it. And we're also trying to point the other side that people with disabilities have dreams, they have love, they've mm -hmm. gone, fallen in love, uh, they're pursuing love, and they're also very prosperous. Others, you know, they, they are thriving as well. So yeah, that's about the film. Okay, and you're also an Afro jazz musician uh, who has released three studio albums. Uh, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Time, that is. Oh, how do and you balance uh, music, won, film, um, and uh, other businesses? I won the. I was saying I won uh, uh, an, uh, um, one of the awards by CFM. Uh But just balancing. I mean, the question of balancing is 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 a natural case, Ola, and also a, a question that we feel as women is unfair to women because we have men who are doing all things we never ask them about how they are balancing mm -hmm. it's natural yeah. but for me it's 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 uh, it's pursuing passions mm -hmm. majority of the things that i do is passion and drive and just the realization that i don't want to be in poverty um i want to i'm zimbabwean there are so many opportunities in this country mm. and if you allow me ola I, I there's something happening right now in our country that i need to tell young people because i'm very passionate about young young people and youths there's so many opportunities that are coming out 
uh, through the government of course they can be said through a certain political party but people are getting opportunities and i would want to say to young people go out and grab opportunities go out, go out and grab land go out and grab mombez do what you can don't be bogged down by politics after my elections mm. right so and that's uh, what i would want to say to great people. Yeah. you know um i mean don't go clear the air on after like facebook that post here which one uh, the, the the issue um mm-hmm. Eh, pane group reba Facebook. Rinon zima fira kureo. Mm-hmm. Group iro roro. Eh, momo momo maga mune makumi nzaka wanda. Anacha go through. Anacha virenga. Okay. Eh, anguwa uchi acha kwa after that uh, your, 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 your post. Eh, mu group iro roro. Mm-hmm. And uh, some of the post mu group iri. Pane ma individuals zaka wanda. Wangawa uchi ita question your, your work ethic. Eh, accusations were made that uh, you ill treat your employees. How far true is that? Some of the people who are in you know, some of the people who are in the world, they are in the world, they are in the world, that page, it's, it's, it's even there now on, uh, okay. on Mafira Kurewa Group. How far true is that? That's my question. Um, Ola, I'm an employer. Yeah. Um, mm. I run maybe two organizations mm-hmm. or three. Yeah. Um, even here at this organization, every mm. organization yes. is going to have people who are happy mm-hmm. and some who are not. And um, let me also say this. It's, it's beautiful that you're asking it during the 16 days of activism. Yes. Harvard University uh, released a research that when a man tells a woman that I want my work by day and today. And um, so we've got a woman boss who says I want my, uh, my work done by end of day today. And we've got a woman saying the same thing. A woman is perceived to be bossy. Uh, there is nasty, na- nastiness. A woman is expected to tolerate mediocrity. A woman leader is expected to, to, to put up with trash. And also, it doesn't help that you are a female black employer. When people walk into organization, they are thinking, and so when you show people that you need work done, we are not playing here. When a donor releases money to me, they want report, they want work done. Hmm. And I have to hold people accountable. When a man says the same thing, women run around, or whoever, even men run around, they hmm. don't question. They are very um, happy to be given instruction by men. But when it comes from a woman, people have a problem. Hmm. So I would say that I cannot control that. What I demand is um, is excellency, just like everybody else. And this is not a Nyari problem. Mm-hmm. Majority of women leaders go through this. And this is not Zimbabwe only. This is international. Thank you so much, uh, Nyari. Nyaradzo Mashaya Mombe, you know, uh, for coming through. And uh, how can people get in touch with you, uh, Nyari? Thank you very much, Ola, um, on Nyaradzo Nyari Mashaya Mombe Facebook page, mm-hmm. on Identities Media TV, uh, on um, uh, uh, Twitter, everywhere. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, that was Nyarazo uh, Nyari Mashaya Mombe. Watanga digital rapper rapper. Anto gatema fili mufunge zenyu. Kuta ora zage de kuta ora zage. But I o ane chipo chake. Ane chipo chake kuta ora ola. What 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 do I say? That's what I'm saying. Seventeen minutes <laughs> past eight. And uh, my name is Owen. We cover doing uh, many thanks to the crew behind the scenes. Uh, my cloud five mushu and the guy behind the cameras. And nyenga tira idinga na the producer of this show. And uh, till we meet again tomorrow. Hey, it's gonna be another one. Star FM, turning up the summer vibes.